All right. Good morning, everybody. Thank you very much for attending our webinar on Real Time Labs. Uh, one thing that you may or may not appreciate, but this is going to actually be a really short lab or really short webinar. We have a really cool feature to tell you about, but it's so awesome. It's actually very simple to explain. So one of the things I want to do is kind of jump over to our slides real quick. I'm going to kind of explain to you real quick what on-demand learning with Real Time Labs really is. Um, in a nutshell, it's amazing, but I'll explain that in just a second why it's amazing. So the very first thing you should know is a little tiny bit about us before I jump into what Real Time Labs are and all that good stuff. Opstility is a, um, a leader in Microsoft Azure training worldwide. We are a globally uh, global delivery team that delivers training on every continent at least except Antarctica at this point. And we also do this instructor led, and we also do this online. So all of our instructor led training, you'll also see recorded, put online, complete with hands on labs, which I'm about to show you in just a moment, as well as we do all kinds of other fun stuff like uh, learning management tools. So if you're an enterprise you're, or a solution integrator and you have hundreds or even thousands of people that need to be certified and tracked and trained, we can help you with that with our enterprise learning management system. Now, real quick, what are we going to learn about today? We're going to, of course, talk about real-time labs. We're going to give you a little bit of detail about what's enabled today. It's a brand new feature from us, so, you know, it's a little bit is enabled today, but I also want to go over our roadmap to show you what's going to be online uh, very soon. So, real quick, what are real-time labs? Uh, essentially, a real-time lab is a feature that allows us to, or allows you, the ability to get a lab environment with just a real simple click of the mouse. You don't have to set up, you know, virtual machines. You don't have to configure tools like, you know, command line tools or Visual Studio or anything like that. If you want to learn about a piece of technology, you literally purchase a few lab credits, jump online, click the button, and you ha have an online lab environment. So, again, our goal is to um, minimize the friction for you to learn how to do technology. So some of the key benefits of using real-time labs is, of course, you don't have to worry about setup or configuration. You know, if you want to learn Linux and you have a Mac or you have a Windows machine, you don't actually have to go work through virtualization and set up a bunch of stuff to learn Linux. Works out really well. Second thing that's a huge benefit is no risk of overspending. For instance, if you wanted to learn Azure, say you wanted to learn virtual machines or IoT or whatever, um, there's a there's a lot of uh, concern from customers that we talk to that they don't really want to use their production subscriptions for this because they don't really know how much it's going to cost to do this type of training. Well, with real-time labs, you don't have any risk of overspending. You know upfront how much it's going to cost to do any exercise that you want to do from a training perspective, so it just completely removes that obstacle. Uh, the third key benefit is there's really no management overhead. We see a lot of companies that do manage training inside of a, their own environment, whether they're managing physical servers or they're managing you know, through the cloud, whether it's AWS or Azure, for their learning environment. That's almost a full-time job in most companies, just to maintain those subscriptions and maintain, you know, especially if it's physical machines, of course, and it absolutely is probably a much more than a full-time job. So with us, it's with real-time labs, it's all enabled on the cloud. It's super simple. You click the button and you have a lab environment to actually take your class. Um, and of course, the bigger benefit is this completely isolated from your production environment. So if you want to learn more advanced technologies like Azure Active Directory, you can actually do that without having to go play around in your real environment, which of course your Azure AD admin probably wouldn't let you do anyways. So again, Real simple technology, but amazing benefits. At least we think so. That's why, why we built it and launched it. So let's take a look real quick where we're at. And I mentioned a few minutes ago that this is a very early on in the process. It is officially released, uh, but we're also you know onboarding our courses and our hands-on labs as we go. So as of today, we have four completely integrated uh, training classes, uh, mostly on the infrastructure service side with Azure, uh, but we do have a, quite a bit larger variety of just standalone hands-on labs. And um, FYI, if you've never used the opstility.com learning service, the reason we split these two apart is because some people learn exceedingly well watching a video, some people watch exceeding, or learn exceedingly well doing hands-on labs, and we give you the option of either doing them at the same time, or if you don't want to watch the video, you can just jump in and learn the technology hands-on. So that's kind of our motto is um, we teach by doing, and this is a prime example of this. So now let's kind of jump in, and again, super short webinar, make it nice and easy for you. I'm going to jump in and show you a quick demonstration of what Real-Time Labs is all about. So I am on the opstility.com online site, and essentially all you have to do is 
to access Real Time Labs is you can access it two ways. You can go to our online course catalog, and if we do have a class that's integrated with Real Time Labs, such as implementing Azure Virtual Machines, you'll note that there's a little icon there that says Real Time Labs enabled, and there's a button that says Real Time Lab. Now, what this is showing you is essentially that um, to do this lab, you'll have eight hours to uh, complete the lab, or you'll have eight hours for the lab environment itself, and this lab environment costs $25. So if you wanted to learn virtual machines inside and out, you would essentially spend $25, have access to our production environment for Azure, and you can go in and do the entire lab end-to-end. -end. Now this is integrated directly with our curriculum, so if I go over and I click on one of our exercises, you can see the end-to-end -end lab guide. This is exactly what you'll see as a student stepping through the lab guide, except the benefit is we now give you an Azure subscription to actually go and do these operations in. So let me show another example. Actually, I have one right here. So this lab has actually already been enabled. So I have a pop-up that says your real-time lab environment is ready to use. Go to the real-time lab tab to view your credentials. So I'm going to go to this tab. And you can see that I do have credentials here. I have a user account that I can uh, launch a browser and in private mode to go to portal.azure.com. And I'm going to pick a different account, pick this account. And the second one I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the password from here. And I'm going to log in to the subscription. So now I have a fully functional Azure subscription. As a user, I'm a complete owner of this. So if my lab tells me to manage role-based access control or tells me to manage policies, I have permissions to do that. Now, one thing to keep in mind is you can't do anything that's outside the lab. This is not a, this environment is not designed so you can do anything. It's designed so you can do the lab. So and we give you a warning, but be very careful about making sure you don't step outside of the lab boundaries for these just because our system will not appreciate it. <laughs> now the second thing I want to show you is great we have access to Azure but you'll notice there's a virtual machine already created in here, Lab VM. Now what that actually is is if we flip back to our real-time lab player we have this virtual machine already spun up called Lab VM and essentially this is your lab environment. So if you're on a Mac or if you're on a Linux workstation but you need to log in and learn how to do Visual Studio for some weird reason, then we can give you this without you having to worry about your own environment. So I hit connect, it's gonna generate a connection file that I can log into this virtual machine. And this VM comes complete with all of the pieces that I need to complete the lab already. So I have Visual Studio 2017 loaded up, if I launch Windows Explorer or File Explorer, I can go down to my C drive, and um, if you've ever taken an Ops Day training class, then you would know that we always put all of our student files, all the assets needed for the class, in a folder called Ops Day training. So essentially, you bootstrap directly into a running environment where I can go back over now and literally click on Exercise 1 and start clicking, uh, running through the creating ARM template lab exercise. So again, the goal here is just to completely minimize the friction between you and actually doing something hands-on with Azure. And that's exactly what Real-Time Labs has enabled. Now, one other piece I want to show is, you know, we're talking a lot about Azure right now, but I want to give you a little bit more of an idea of a roadmap. So what we're talking about today is we have four classes enabled. Uh, our goal is to completely enable every one of the Microsoft Cloud certification classes, um, where you can really watch the videos and do the hands-on labs all in real time without ever calling us, without ever calling anybody. If you just want a completely self-paced self environment to get certified in, in the cloud, whether it's Azure or Office 365, this is going to be enabled. So you can see here that we got the complete tracks, and each one of those tracks is really about um, anywhere from five to 15 classes. So um, the goal will enable a lot more classes in a very, very short amount of time. And we're really hoping to make this within the next uh, two to three weeks to get this entire certification track implemented. The second piece is you'll also see that we're going uh, beyond a little bit of certification. So we have a fantastic IoT solutions class that we have enabled today. Uh, we want to turn on real-time labs with this, and this is one of our top priorities is to get IoT enabled, as well as some core foundational classes such as you know, PowerShell Fundamentals, Windows PowerShell, DSC, et cetera. And we're also kind of going outside of the, um, the, the Microsoft ecosystem a little bit because 
we know that our customers are using Linux, so we're integrating our Linux Foundation System Admin class, as well as SQL Server and Windows Server. So there's a lot of really cool things coming up on the roadmap, and we're really hoping that this real-time labs feature will make it easy for you as our customer to dive in and really learn this, uh, these technologies with out having to go through, you know, and jump through hoops to set up your own environment and really, you know, figure yourself out just to learn a piece of technology. It, training should be easy, and that's what we're really hoping that this will accomplish. So, again, like I said, super short webinar. Um, I think we got a couple of questions here in the, in the list. Let me answer them before I move forward. Um, with so many courses and labs, is there a path or guide on taking which classes to proceed the other? Uh, that is a fantastic question, Ritesh, and uh, one thing you'll see either at the end of day today or at the, probably tomorrow at the latest, is at least for the certification classes, especially in the Azure space, uh, we will have a uh, updated roadmap for every certification track that tells you exactly which classes go with which. Um, but one thing that I can show you um, before then, is if I switch back over to the online site, and I'll, I'll kind of give you a quick understanding of how to navigate the site, because there is a whole bunch of classes, so I totally understand it might be a little complicated. But on our online classes filter, if you click the tracks button, there's, you know, we break it down by whether it's DevOps and containers or developer, or, you know, if you have no idea what Azure is yet, uh, jump into our Azure Fundamentals class. And by the way, this one is also real-time lab enabled, so it might be, if you're wanting to get started with real-time labs, that one might be the best way to jump into. But uh, the other tracks that are really important are like, if you're an infrastructure person, 533, if you, essentially, if you take all of these classes, this will help you prepare for passing an exam. You'll still need to read the documentation and take a practice test, but it's a, this is a pretty comprehensive view of the technologies that are covered in the 533 exam. So the moral to the story is, navigate by track, and that's where you'll see um, how, to, how to identify which classes go to which. But again, it is a lot of training, so um, any, anything we can do to help you narrow that down, just let us know. You'll, you'll get annoyed by our chat button, and feel free to take, take advantage of it. Now, let me take a look at the webinar settings again and see if there's any other questions in the queue. Oh, there is one more question, and one of the questions is pricing. So how much does all this cost? Um, so if you're not familiar with Opstility's online training, uh, one of the things you should know is um, our training is really, really cheap for the level of depth of training that you uh, receive. For individuals, it's $29.95 a month. This is every Opstility.com or Opstility official curriculum that's online and recorded. We also give you a seven-day free trial, so if you just want to try it out and see how it works, no problem. The second piece is if you are our team, you can log in and you know actually onboard your entire team and use our uh, learning management system to actually track it and assign courses for your for your, your learners. Now, from a um, lab credit perspective, a lab credit is essentially a dollar for dollar. So as you go through and look at each lab, some of them will be super you know low price like five dollars and some of them will be a little bit more than that. It all depends on you know the level of technology that we're doing. So getting started with web apps is a prime example. It is $6, just so super simple. You get to log in, learn how to use Azure Web Apps, do auto scale, do a little Azure database, and you know pretty comprehensive. All right, so I think that is all the questions in the queue. And my demonstration is done. Like I said, thank you, everyone. This was a very short and sweet webinar, but we're very excited about this new feature. So we wanted to make sure we get it out there for everyone to take a look at and kind of get their heads wrapped around it. And again, any questions that you may have, um, feel free to reach out to us. Our contact information is on the website. Uh, you can buy these in bulk. So if you have a giant team of people that you need to get Azure certified and you know you don't have time to send everyone to an instructor -led class, let's, we, we can help you out. All right, I think that's pretty much it. Javier, you want to close this up? All right, well, thank you, everyone, for participating. Uh, you will all be uh, notified by email with the, uh, the link to this uh, webinar on our YouTube channel. Uh, thank you again, and have a great day.